Hello, I'm Luciano Ruas from the Brazilian Accent Improvisation and today we are going to talk about the Mashishi. Mashishi is the Samba's father and it emerged on um, 19, 19, 10, 19 and the, the, the beginning of the last century and um, um, for some people it's uh, difficult to understand this difference, the subtle differences between the styles, the Brazilian styles. And there is one interesting exercise that I rec recommend you to do, that is to transform some melody of another similar style in, uh, in the melody of this new style. So you can incorporate some uh, some uh, typical uh, typical sounds, divisions, uh, accentuations of the new style you are playing. Uh, for this, I'm I'm going to study this this show in front of you. Um, I I it's I study. Okay, I, I I'm gonna commit mistakes. It's not perfect, but I'm I will try to transform one show of Pixinguinha, uh, they called Segura Ele, it's like get, get him, or take him, I don't know how to translate this, um, uh, in, a, in a machiche, let's see if it's possible, alright, um, in some moments couldn't sound perfect, sometimes we're gonna uh, have to omit notes, but why I've chosen this short of Pixinguinha? This short of song uh, is, in a, is in a category that we call um, Choro Ligeiro, that's a fast short. And often, choros, this kind of short, this fast short often has a lot of 16th notes, okay? We're gonna have to, to find some opportunities to transfer the the this in in, in show in Machiche's division okay I'm gonna show you the original melody One more time. gonna choose some more easier pieces the next time because I always committed some mistakes in fingering even sure that has complex fingerings we had some time to prepare before but uh, I'm always trying to take a thing that I don't master still okay thanks Antonio Carlos for coming and watching uh, the live and uh, let's try to transform this melody in a of choro and of a fast choro in a machishi melody okay and then uh, one interesting thing about to say about machishi it's it uh, it's a, a brazilian interpretation of polka all right you in polka you have this uh comping uh, division you have some variation okay but the main division is that and 
when it gained the, Brazi the Brazilian accent, uh, it gained the syncopation uh, in the first tempo. Or uh, a 16, uh, 80 note pointed with a 16 note, uh, 16 note. This is the, the, the main uh, comping of, of Mashishi, all right? Um, let's see what we can do with the melody. Uh, the first thing I, I would say to you, that uh, it could uh, help, is to transform, to try to transform some divisions in the, uh, in the, the same uh, the same division as the comping, alright? For example... theme uh, searching for opportunities to do to transform but this theme is made uh, is made uh, mainly of, of of 16th notes then I don't have this I don't have often this opportunity so to have to create this opportunity we have sometimes to change the melody or uh, or just using the in the first measure or that has just three notes and then we transform in the division of the of the the, the groove of okay um, let me try to do some changes now um, to see if I, I I can transform some melody some repeated notes uh, or whatever. Let me try to transform some melody in this also this division. Let's see. Uh, this. I can transform this ah, here. Transform this phrase, uh, for example. Then I transformed some original ideas in, in this uh, using this new division, okay? Let me try to repeat. Okay, we have the idea of the beat and uh, of the groove and we can uh, we have one more idea of the groove that I showed you with this uh, pointed 80 note with 16 note let 
let's see if I can transform this melody in this division. Let's do it again. If I mixture then these both these two ideas I I have done, uh, I, I I'm gonna give already a interesting sound to the melody. Let's hear. some interesting mixture between the, these two ideas all right um, next uh, next uh, thing I, I would say uh, it's it's typical of uh, Mashishi it's to anticipate the melody 180 note okay it's like some people say that Mashishi has uh, the melody it's similar to the Bayon, but it's similar in in terms of division, okay. But uh, the structure of the song, the, there are a lot of uh, interesting, and uh, uh, there are a lot of difference, strong difference between these three styles, okay. But let's try to anticipate this note. <laughs> See this piece. Anticipating, I'm I'm uh, omitting certain notes to 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 get this result. Okay. It's not possible using all the notes. Uh, it's a little different from the uh, triple triple of sixteen thing. Sure that you use all the notes. Uh, it's anticipation, but you can. This you anticipate using all the all the notes but in this case you can't okay you have to omit let me do one more time mixing with the other ideas I'm, I'm, I'm gonna repeat just with the first <laughs> sorry to change my my Let's try to mixture mixture this 
all ideas that I, I created. Oh, I'm sorry. Then we heard the anticipation, we heard the, the change for the, the groove rhythm, okay? Um, now I'm gonna use other typical uh, um, division of this, that is the rest of 16th note and three, three 16th notes uh, after, okay? For example... This last idea didn't connect so with the melody, but we can use for... Okay, um, one more time of trying to use this idea. to use thirds but it is just for instruments that could could uh, that can do two melody strides at the same time okay um, let's make sure all the ideas I have done Substitute the scales for this two, uh, this groove movement. Okay. Um, other thing important um, that uh, about machiche that it's uh, it's the accentuation of um, uh, this accentuation that we call three three two. Uh, It's like the northeast music. Uh, then, when we have these scales, we can use the. Okay, then you have one accentuation when when one melodical swing without changing any division, rhythmic division. Okay, <clears throat> let's try to to put in another place. If you have some difficulty in, in, in putting then these these divisions, try to play together. For example.
And I, I transformed, I had the, I had the idea now to transform it. Searching for connection between this idea um, with the uh, with the phrase because when I have done it it made a, a little hole in the melody and and I tried to to resolve during the the melody one octave higher okay sometimes you're gonna lose connection with the the melody and have to change the ideas you do. Okay, that's why I, I show mistakes. I I'm always uh, trying to 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 make you see the whole process process of uh, learning this. All right, um, let's try to do a little of this melody accent accentuated. you to study forcing the, the accent uh, before uh, playing it more in a certain way because if you just just started playing in a certain way they, uh, this this accent is gonna uh, is going to disappear then uh, force the use the, the use of it okay try to put the left hand
other important thing to say uh, it's uh, important to, to use a, a non, non legato melody more percussive in a more percussive way that it can give more swing and a, a percussive intention for the melody then uh, continue practicing and, and returning uh, doing with a lot of variations okay if you have some difficulty play slowly uh, and repeat repeat uh, this and, or that uh, resource I did for, for example ah, I have difficulties in playing the uh, the groove in transforming the melody in the groove on the groove then you just study this element repeat and try to to go up the the tempo you are done you are doing it okay so it was that uh, thank you very much for watching this live uh, if you like share with your friends and um, uh, if you are on YouTube subscribe the channel okay I'm in Facebook YouTube in Instagram uh, watching whatever um, uh, whatever place you are you you have more affinity okay so it's this I'm Luciano Ruas Brazilian pianist of the Brazilian accent improvisation and thanks for watching us bye bye